get ready to assemble the Ultimate Avengers for their first big mission together as a complete team tasked with rescuing powered individuals held captive by the Maker's Council. Unfortunately, a big, bad, and deadly surprise is waiting for them. Let's talk about it in our view of the Ultimates number 6 from Marvel Comics. See you in 3. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of the Ultimates number 6. You know, I have to say, if nothing else, the Ultimates number 6 may be Dennis Camp's best book of the series and one of the more thrilling Ultimates related issues since Jonathan Hickman restarted the universe nearly a year ago, roughly. Why? For one simple reason. The heroes get a challenge they can't easily overcome from a compelling villain. Sometimes, keeping it simple is all it takes to turn your fortunes around. Is the Ultimates number 6 a perfect comic? No, not by any stretch. It has a few rough spots, but this is the very best of the series by a long shot. Before we dig in, let's recap what happened last time. When last we left Earth 6160's fledgling Avengers in the Ultimates number 5, Captain America was tasked with recovering the advanced costume and weaponry Iron Lad created for Hawkeye after Clint Barton chose not to take up the mantle. He just threw it away in the trash. Instead, the armor and weapons were found and donned by an indigenous person named Charlie who chose to commit acts of terror against Roxxon facilities around the American Southwest. Therefore, of course, Cap said, you know what, a terrorist is who we need on the team, so jump on board. Oh boy, never change modern Marvel, never, never change. Stupid. And that brings us to the current issue. Iron Lad assembles the Avengers outside a damage control block site to rescue a collective of powered humans the Maker's Council imprisoned. What's their mission? Get in, rescue the hostages, and get out with as little effort as possible. There's just one problem. When Ireland blasts into the holding facility, there are no captives waiting for them. Dennis Camp begins the issue with one of the few rough spots and a chronic problem we've seen in other issues in the series that he's written. Camp gives readers a very small amount of setup to explain how the Avengers came to choose this mission without any context or rationale behind it. For one of the world's smartest men, Iron Lad isn't terribly thorough in his planning, which is really to say Dennis Camp doesn't know how to write one of the smartest men in the world. When the Avengers blast through the fortified door, they find themselves in an open-air arena that's part of Kun Lun. In other words, they didn't just enter a building, which is a black site, they somehow transported to another dimension. And the Hulk is just sitting there, peacefully waiting for the Avengers to join him for a cup of tea. Not only is the Ultimate Hulk the strongest there is, but he's also mastered all forms of mysticism and martial arts associated with the Iron Fist. Now, Hulk invites the Avengers to drink his tea, which he knows is poisoned and he says so outright, to enjoy a peaceful death or risk their end the hard way. Okay, alright, now we're cooking with gamma radiation. We've seen brief scenes with Ultimate Hulk before since the Ultimate line was restarted almost about a year ago, but this is his moment in the spotlight. Camp presents a cruel yet quiet Hulk who is a master of strength and serenity. Combine the physical presence of the original Hulk with the formidable personality of, say, somebody like the Kingpin, and that gets you in the right ballpark. The doorway magically seals behind the Avengers. Without an obvious path to escape Hulk's trap, they have no choice but to fight. Unfortunately, Hulk is not alone. He has a cadre of spiritual disciples with him, and they each inject themselves with Hulk out serum to turn them into a team of Hulk strong martial arts masters. The issue concludes with a brutal fight that ends with deaths on both sides. Overall, the Ultimates number six goes, as the kids these days say, hard. The Hulk is the most intimidating and charismatic villain to show up in the entire Ultimates line this year, and the fight is surprisingly gripping. If Dennis Camp had put this much oomph into the series from the beginning, it wouldn't be floundering the way it is right now. So that's the issue. Let's talk about the positives and negatives, starting with what great about the Ultimates number six. There's a lot to like in this issue. The character work is solid, specifically and particularly the Hulk, and the outcome of the issue is the type of hard-hitting drama Marvel fans have been sorely missing. Again, there are some rough spots, and they take the shine off the issue, but the positives far outweigh the negatives. So what's not great about the Ultimates number six? Dennis Camp really has a tough time getting these issues started, every single one of them, all the way up to issue number six. From the clunky execution to the chronically absent context and setup. Yes, sure, Iron Lad throws some exposition at the reader to provide just enough context to set the stage, but Iron Lad's explanation is too meager to make it seem like the Avengers have their act together. 
the issue almost starts as if Dennis Camp begins with an improv class prompt and just starts running. That's fine for an improv class, but not for a fully realized comic that should have a fully developed beginning, middle, and end. Let's switch gears in a second and talk about the art. Juan Frigeri flexes big action muscles in this issue with an extended fight that looks amazing. As a bonus, there are a few moments of gore that come close to red band territory, so the fight is meaningful and it comes across as though there are consequences for their actions. So it's not just a fight for the sake of having a fight, there are outcomes to the fight that could have big repercussions in the next issue. Final thoughts when we think about the Ultimates number six. Honestly, this may be the best issue in the series when Dennis Camp assembles the Ultimate Avengers for their first big mission and they get their butts handed to them. Despite the poor setup in the beginning, the issue flies with power and energy once the big doors open. And artist Juan Frigeri looks like he's having a blast with the big hits and surprising amount of gore. Therefore, The Ultimates number 6 earns an 8 out of 10. A superhero comic with action, adventure, stakes, and consequences is all we're really asking for. Was that really so hard? I, I don't know why it's hard, but yeah, but that's what you get here and, that, and it pays off. But what do you think? Have you been impressed with all the Ultimates related series so far? Leave a thumbs up if you found this review helpful and drop a comment below with which Ultimate title is your favorite. I'm betting most readers would say Ultimate Spider-Man. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review, check out the variant covers and preview pages, and buy the comic to help support the channel. That of course would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.